What's going on guys, Crafty Rick here. Today I have something really wild for you. This... It's my Fallout Tsunami Diorama. In the world of Fallout, there is a location called the Boneyard, which consists mainly of what remains of the Los Angeles area and some of the surrounding cities after the Great War. This place is mostly in ruins, just like everything else in this barren post-apocalyptic world. These types of settings have always captured my imagination and they have inspired the majority of my recent work. This diorama depicts a tsunami about to hit a location most of us are familiar with, the Santa Monica Coastal City, which is located just west of downtown Los Angeles, or in this case, the Boneyard. I started this diorama by sculpting the tsunami wave out of styrofoam, then covering it with drywall spackle. Once dry, I sanded it down with files and sandpaper. Now I use latex rubber to cover the entire wave in several layers to make a mold out of it. The skyscrapers, cars and other buildings are 3D printed. These are the smallest models I have worked with. They're in 1 2500th scale. They're incredibly detailed and I got them for free on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link on the description. To reinforce the mold, I add gauze pads and cover them with another layer of latex rubber. Then, I start planning out my entire layout. The amusement park on the pier is gonna be made out of a chipboard. And I kitbashed the ferris wheel out of plastic rims and random bits. I added toothpicks and zip ties to the amusement park for additional details. The buildings are too pristine, so I grab a blade and start adding some heavy damage to all of them. I make a PVA glue and drywall mix to make a layer of base terrain. For some destroyed parts of the skyscrapers, I'm using some window screen. I add another layer of PVA and drywall and start setting down my buildings, so I can glue them on later. I prime most of them and then I add baking powder to the amusement park to get a dirty, corroded surface on what's left of the right. A base coat of paint is added to all of the buildings. I went with colors that match the location. Now I glue down all of the pieces with liquid nails. Using a blade and a wire brush, I textured the iconic cliffs that overlook the Pacific Ocean. The roads are strips of cardboard painted with a concrete texture paint. Time to add a generous amount of washes to all of the buildings to make the details pop out, which also makes them look old and abandoned. This is a mix of cardboard, glue and sand I made to simulate rubble. These barricades are made with old business cards. It's pretty common to see all these barricades and debris blocking access to many areas in the Fallout games. Now I add watered down PVA glue to the entire surface of the diorama and cover it with fine sand. Time to prime it and paint it. I base color all of the ground surface details and some of the rubble. Then a light dry brush followed by a full surface wash and even more dry brushing.
I mix rusty pigments with water for the amusement park and barricades. As you can see, the vehicles are extremely tiny. I proceed to paint some of them with the color schemes of big companies from the Fallout universe. Now for the resin wave, I use a two-part epoxy resin designed for deep pores and a bit of blue ink. Depending on the size of your pore, additional layers may be required. I ended up doing two 2 inch layers of it. It takes about 48 to 72 hours per layer to fully cure. Looks good for the most part aside from these bubbles, but no big deal, they can be fixed. A quick fit test and then some sanding down and removing sharp edges. Now I'm getting ready to add foam effects of the tsunami wave, but before I proceed with that step, I clear coat the wave with a glossy varnish and add wooden pegs at the bottom so it snaps in place. For the foam, I use water effects mixed with baking powder and then I just spread that on top of the wave. This was a last minute addition a Meyer Lurk Queen and a Hermit Crab I got from Thingiverse. I don't think they'll survive this tsunami. I paint additional details of the base and clear coat the entire thing with a matte varnish. Then I proceed to glue down the last piece of the base, this little Nuka Cola vehicle. Zap that thirst with Nuka Cola! And that is it for this one guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button and I hope to see you on the next one, bye.